What are the symptoms? These are the symptoms of both snoring, open mouth breathing and sleep apnea. But they will of course be more prevalent with sleep apnea. But you will find that a person that simply breathes through their mouth during their sleep will wake up tired. If you have your mouth open during sleep, you wake up with a dry mouth, you will be fatigued, you'll often be of course unaware of your sleep disturbances, loud snoring comes as part of the condition, holding the breath during the night, that's the apnea, loud snorts and gasps upon resumption of breathing, that would be the main thing to be watching out for. So you have a person, they're thunderously snoring, then they hold their breath, they're trying to breathe, if you were to watch them, they're trying to breathe, and then after a while, the, body, the par person will partially wake up, resume breathing again, and with that, they'll be snorting and gasping. Problems with memory and concentration. It is a profound effect on the health of the individual. Morning or nighttime headaches, heartburn or reflux, swelling of the legs, needing to use the bathroom during the night. It's quite a common one with heavy breathers. Children or adults, if they're heavy breathing, mouth is open and oftentimes about five or six o'clock in the morning they need to get up to go to the loo. Chest pain, sweating during sleep. Of course it may cause marital problems, dry mouth and dry throat because invariably these people will be sleeping with their mouths open. Blood oxygen desaturation. The person is holding their breath for quite a period of time and as they hold their breath their oxygen levels are dropping, dropping, dropping. Arousal from sleep. Sleep apnea prevents you, or heavy snoring will prevent you from going into a deep sleep. Sleep is usually characterized in stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. With a person with sleep apnea, they don't go down into the deep sleep. They don't reach stage four. Because they're being partially woken up each time they have an apnea. And therefore they wake up very tired. Sympathetic activation, so they're more living in a stressed response as opposed to the opposite, which would be a parasympathetic relaxation response, that the body would be on alert. Can cause elevated blood pressure during the day, possibly leading to hypertension and heart disease. So it's not just isolated to adults, we're also talking about the effect of open mouth breathing on youngsters, children less than five years of age. Frequently waking up, snoring, sweating, mouth breathing and restlessness. Symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea in children over five years of age, snoring, short attention span, poor academic performance, behavioural problems, bedwetting, not growing as quickly as they should be for their age. So snoring and sleep apnea, they have quite significant effects on a person's health. And even simply poor productivity. If you're having a bad night's sleep, you're waking up tired and you're tired during the day, it will affect mood, it will also affect your concentration and it will affect your productivity. So sleep, it's crucial that you have a good sleep. And simply mouth breathing and a blocked nose is a key impairment of having a good night's sleep. Simply a blocked nose.